Well, the presentation's up here, so if, if people could reorient. So my name is Dana Bryson. I'm the deputy manager at the Carlsbad Field Office. And we have responsibility for the National True Program, as well as the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant. And so I understand, and I fully understand, why you would have questions on the events at WIP. I think it's healthy to go back and look at all of our processes and, and reevaluate. Um, you know, it, if you look at it, nobody was hurt in either of these accidents. And I think we're blessed from that. And I think we would be missing a great opportunity if we did not seriously look and identify everywhere where we need to improve. Efficient. One final aspect of this, even in this report from the Santa Fe New Mexican, the health risks to the 21 WIP employees who were exposed to radiation is still being minimized. Do we have any word on their condition? So it's 22 workers that have been confirmed with internal contamination. They've been confirmed with internal contamination now. Correct. 22 workers have internal contamination. 21 of those were found to have internal contamination through their fecal samples, and an additional worker, the 22nd worker, was found to have internal contamination through urine sampling. All of those people for well over a month, the Department of Energy has said, none of those people need to have any additional testing done on them. DOE has not referred any of them to independent medical assessment or treatment, so we actually don't know anything about those workers other than that they were contaminated, and DOE has said that the levels of contamination they had were less than 10 millirem, and therefore it's not a problem. We don't know what the 22 workers think about that and whether they are or are not seeking some independent medical advice of their own, which I would encourage them to do, frankly. I understand that you are based in Albuquerque, which is some distance away from Carlsbad. If you were living in an area that could be considered downwind of WIP, meaning in proximity to it, what kinds of protective measures would you want to see people taking just in case something else happens at the site? Well, I think the fundamental focus needs what is out, and we don't know how much that is, but what contamination was released of WIP is out. The current monitoring is showing extremely low levels, including non-detect, pretty similar to what was the case before February of this year. So the focus needs to be on preventing anything else from happening and preventing workers at the site from getting further contamination. That's where my concern is, regardless of how close or how far away it is. I am concerned about the 22 workers. I am concerned about the workers who go underground. I'm concerned about the workers who are trying to replace the filters because they're in quite close proximity to a significant amount of contamination in those filters. I think there is a lot of focus that needs to be on those things. As I say, I also believe independent medical and other people should be brought in to look at the situation and recommend changes in terms of how. Result of it. This plutonium atom has a terrific amount of energy that it releases. Although it has a very little penetrating ability, once it gets against the membrane of the small passages in the lung, 
it could, a great likelihood, to cause cancer of the lung. Once in the lung, the plutonium lodges in the tissues. These yellow rays show tracks made by alpha rays emitted from a single particle of plutonium-239. This particle can penetrate more than 10,000 cells within its range. Plutonium itself actually causes most of its damage through insulation, but it can also cause damage by being ingested, especially uh, if it's ingested with chlorinated water. Now they find that it does make its way through the lining of the bowel, then it does settle in bone, causing bone cancer and leukemia, or it can settle in uh, gonads in the, in the germplasm and uh, affect the uh, sperm or over and uh, cause uh, genetic effects. Transuranic waste. Mega, 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 mega,